Hi, we are so excited that we are finally able to celebrate your retirement with you. It's been quite a long time for some of you, and we're so glad that you're here and that you came back to celebrate with us. I wanted to make sure you know that how much we have appreciated your service to Rappahannock Community College and to our students. Know that we could not have achieved our mission without the support of you and the work that you did, no matter what your role was, you have helped change countless lives. So we look forward to staying in touch with you. And again, thank you so much for your service to RCC. Just so everyone knows, this is the kind of thing that Sherry Hill would absolutely hate, but we're doing it anyway. I had the opportunity to work with Sherry Hill for about five years. I found Sherry to be one of the most honest, most realistic leaders I have ever known. She has helped many of our adult education students reach their goals. But as I think back, uh, I believe my favorite memory of Sherry is that no matter what was happening, what was going on, she could always make me laugh. When I started here at RCC, I started as an administrative assistant at Kilmarnock, but I had zero intention of staying in that position. I wanted to move up and I let everyone know that, including Sherry. She played a huge role in encouraging me to step up when I had ideas, when I saw things that I thought weren't working, that I thought I could make a difference. She was the one encouraging me to share that and move forward because of her support. And I think I also used her as a reference. And even though she has retired now, I'm willing to bet that neither of us is mature enough to reorganize the nursing lab as we weren't many years ago. <laughs> So Sherry's um, dedication to the program and to the students that she, she worked with um, is truly inspirational. Students still come in today asking for Mrs. Hill. They want to know where she is and what she's doing. Um, and as Sherry, as we worked with Sherry, we found her sense of humor to be a delight. She always kept us entertained. Um, she always had great words of wisdom for us, um, especially our potted plants. Hi Gwen. Hi Gwen. Hi Gwen. All together. Hi, Hi Gwen. Gwen. We miss you. We do. Very much so. I came to RCC what, in 2003. Um, well, before I was a student, of course. But when I came to the HR office, you were the first friendly face that greeted me. And any day that anything was stressful, you were always there with a big smile tell me it's gonna be okay <laughs> i miss you so much we've been through a lot together um god i can't believe it's been three years almost since you retired can you mm -hmm. no but you I, are a doll and we miss you very much very much we do you're yes. always so kind and we're hoping that retirement is treating you wonderfully and Okay, congratulations. <laughs> love you. We love, love you. you. Bye. 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 Hey, Pretty. We miss you. And we have often spent time talking about how much fun we used to have together, and both at school and out of school. Uh, we hope you'll come back and see us some more. And just one thing to remember I know where you live. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> hey, Pretty, it's Cheryl. I just wanted to say that it was and has been a pleasure having you as a 108 uh, hallway compatriot, <laughs> and we really miss you. We missed your we miss your peaceful nature uh, that got us through a lot of issues through the years. You definitely had a calming effect on us. Yeah. <laughs> Because as you well know, we can be very wild and loud and, and obnoxious even. Hope you're having a great retirement. Talk to you soon. Charlie Cook, professor of chemistry and physics at Rappahani Community College. He has started RCC for about seven, more than 18 years and he has served more than 1800 students during that period. So he's a great chemistry professor who just retired. We'd like to uh, thank you, thank him for his service. And now we have a few other things to say about Charlie from uh, his colleagues. This is his office and 
during his normal office time he has to suffer with his colleagues uh, here professor lisa taki uh with hey hartley what's for lunch i'm starving and professor hartley is here and i'm starving too hey is anybody down there anybody go lunch with us And Charlie would come out from his door and ask, what's happening? Hey, Charlie, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Congratulations, Tom, on your retirement and relocation. Um, I'm happy to have had memories of you when you were at RCC and the contributions you made to the students and to the college in general. You were truly a gem for our faculty and a friend of mine. I enjoyed talking with you, especially those years you were uh, holding class at uh, New Kent. Uh, the best of luck in your future endeavors, and thank you again for taking some of my wife's chickens. Thank you, and good luck. Hey, Miles. Just want to thank you for all you've done and all the contributions you've made uh, the past three years here at RCC and for the strategic enrollment management team. Um, I appreciate all the uh, catchy cliches and all the sayings and of course all the $10 words. Uh, you have definitely expanded my uh, vocabulary. Uh, thank you for supporting me uh, personally and all the conversations we've had. Uh, in a few short years you have definitely made an impact. Um, that will last for many years to come here at the college. Your presence and your expertise will surely be missed. I um, hope you enjoy your retirement uh, writing, uh, being Catherine's pool boy, <laughs> and of course uh, your part-time gig as, as Squall. Uh, so uh, certainly this is not goodbye, but um, um, we'll certainly see you again uh, soon in the new year. Wishing you all the best. Well, congratulations, Tom. We all miss you here at RCC, but I wanted to thank you for being such a great coworker. Uh, you always made my life a lot easier. Thank you for being so helpful. So I hope you're really enjoying your retirement. You deserve it. Um, so I guess I just want to say smooth sailing, Tom, you know, and wishing you fair winds and calm seas always. Take care. Kind helpful, wise, a good friend. This is what I think of when I think of Pradeep Jameer. I have appreciated working with you for years and always being able to depend on your quiet empathy and intelligence. I miss you. Best wishes in your retirement. Bob was assigned as my mentor when I started here 10 years ago. I quickly observed just what he did for the college and its students. He was RCC. Heck, he's the reason I passed my PhD statistics course. So thank you, Bob, for everything you've done. Tom, for the vast experience, the integrity, and the knowledge that you brought to our students. And thank you from RCC for creating a program that is changing lives and that will continue to change lives. Best wishes in retirement. Hey, Dan, congratulations on your retirement. And I wanted to tell you, thank you, sincerely, thank you for everything that you've done for our department and making us feel like we were a team and that we were a part of. I pray that you and Lucretia are living your retirement to the full. Tom, congratulations on a retirement well earned. I appreciate all the years of walk, working in the same suite with you. I appreciate you being my mentor. Again, congratulations to you. Um, hope you have time to do all the things you love to do, and including spending time with your wife. Bill, I'm recording this near the Christmas season, and it always reminds me of when I started at RCC and first met you and have such fond memories of judging the Christmas decoration contest with you we both were sort of wide-eyed and what are we getting into here but that was a lot of fun and it was such a pleasure to 
get to know you as we both got to know RCC and higher education better. Um, enjoyed working with you and meeting Pam and it was a real pleasure and I'm always happy to hear from you and work with you on other projects um, related to the community, to um, Rotary, uh, and to helping the Northern Neck. Our tennis courts here at, War at Warsaw, which I see every day, are gorgeous, and I get to see your good work at play with all of these um, students and retirees using the courts and enjoying that. Um, and I hope to see you in the community again soon, and I wish you the very best. Hi, Bob. When I think of your legacy to your colleagues and to students at RCC, I think about your patience when teaching math and your great concern for students and your understanding that they wouldn't do well in the classroom if things weren't okay outside the classroom, whether it was you know, needing food or having something personal going on in their family or um, in their life outside of their family. Thank you for all your service to RCC. You made us a better community and we miss you. Deborah, you leave very big shoes to fill as the first prison ed coordinator for the Haynesville Correctional Center program. I greatly admire your tenacity, your sense of humor, and your great concern for our students at Haynesville. Thank you for all you did to make sure that we were ensuring they got a comparable education to their peers on campus. We look forward to hearing about all your adventures in retirement. Bernard Brooks, your dedication to RCC for 40 plus years did not go unnoticed and was appreciated by all. Staff describe you as a gentleman and always smiling and pleasant as you walk the halls. You were dependable and someone that I could always call on to help, even in the worst conditions. You did so many jobs on a regular basis, I probably haven't even figured them all out yet. For me and all the guys, we miss you and wish you all the best in retirement. Dear Shirley, all the big plans we have for your retirement. We put an even request in for a hundred grand, but it slipped through Dr. Kennedy's butterfingers. We then tried to sell our whatchamacallit and we couldn't score. We thought a pet cat or sending you on a trip to New York or an orbit around the Milky Way would be nice. But baby Ruth said we were nuts. To avoid any snickers in the halls, we decided this candy card would have to do. You know, sweetheart, your wish mounds of joy and may your days be filled with good and plenty of new adventures. With jolly kisses and extra love, your three musketeers, Martha, Holly, and Marlene. Hi, and this tribute is for Ellen Vest. Ellen number one, I used to call myself Ellen number one, but she argued with me all the time. This is, um, Ellen started uh, building the EMS program here at RCC. She was a lone wolf for a long time. Uh, we know how hard you worked. Also know that she really, really loved the nurses. Congratulations, Ellen Bass. Congrats. All right, this one is for Karen Tolliver, and Karen has been with RCC as long as I can remember. Um, she started the phlebotomy program here at RCC, as well as helped to grow our PN and our nurse aid programs here. And Karen, I just want to say thank you for still remaining. Um, and not really retiring so that you can help me out. Thanks for all the little things to remind us all how much we are appreciated and we hope you know how much you are loved by each of us. We love you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Bill, it was very good working with you here at the college. You were very approachable and easy to talk with. While you were here at the college, you were a big part of many projects. Unfortunately, right before you did leave, the pandemic hit but you were also a big part in the college response to it for the health and safety of college staff and students. I wish you the best. Enjoy your retirement. Hi, Nancy. Thank you so much for your careful attention through the years for all the thousands of students you enrolled into their dual enrollment classes, for your ability to think on your feet, for your sense of humor, and for being such a great colleague. You really left big shoes to fill 
but left us with some great tips and a better understanding of how to make dual enrollment even more efficient than it was when you got here. We miss you and hope you are really enjoying your retirement. Hi, Deborah. On behalf of Eric, myself, and our Haynesville education team, we want to say congratulations. I think about the quote that people come into our lives for a reason, a season, or a lifetime, and they often bring things that we need to learn. We have learned a lot over the last few years. Most importantly, I hope you recognize the impact that you have had on the lives that you've touched throughout all of your career, not just the years that you've had here at RCC. Thank you for everything that you have done to help strengthen our program and to make it a better program for our students. Enjoy this next new chapter. We're so happy for you. Congratulations. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. We miss you. We miss you. Happy retirement. We know you're having a great time. Enjoying life. That's right. Free. <laughs> I know. We miss you around here. Hope all go well. Yeah. Love you, Dean. Love you. Bye-bye. This message is for Charles Smith. Um, I want to tell you two things. I can never think of the saying wordsmith anymore without er, without thinking of you specifically. Um, and secondly, more seriously, you really were the greatest mentor of my career. And for that, I thank you. Thank you, Charles, for reflexive thought. Love you, mean it. Carrie wanted me to share that she appreciated you giving her the wisdom and encouragement to stretch and try new things. Stacy wants you to know that she appreciates you helping her refine her passive voice. And Araya is so appreciative for you creating in her the passion for teaching. Daniel said he wanted to thank you for helping him discern his path. He's so glad he did not go EMT. And Caitlin said that you welcomed her with open arms to our team, and she was very grateful. What well, Ashley and Seth said were the same, and we feel like that represents what all of us feel, is thank you for believing in us. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. We miss you. <laughs>